What's going on, my ASVAB part people? So, have you ever done a problem where it seemed really, really simple and maybe you were able to get it done without any help at all? But if you're asked to explain your work, you might not be able to tell exactly how you did it. So, that's why we're gonna be shooting this video right here. This video is so important because I'm gonna show you that no matter how easy it is, you still need to be able to talk about the problem. I'm giving you some really good advice right here. Again, when it comes to preparing for the ASVAB, you want to make sure you can talk about what you're doing. That's ultimately where your confidence is going to come from. So let's go ahead and break this problem down as easy as it might be for you, or as refreshing as it might be. I want you to stick around to the end because this is all about being able to talk about it. Here we go. First step, always understand what you're looking for. What do I want? So easily, that's always going to be in the question sentence. Who, what, when, where, why, how many, which of the following? That is your question sentence. So stick to that. So right here, what you'll see, it says, how long was the car traveling for? Okay, cool. So I'm looking for how long the car was traveling for. And if I'm looking for the exact units, I can go ahead and check this out right here. All of the answer choices say hours, including D, where it should be singular, not plural. Nice mistake. So with that, we're going to notice that we're looking for time. Again, the short story here is it says we're looking for time. The answer choices, the units are hours. So step one, I want, you know, car was traveling for blank hours. So again, we're looking for time. Keep a little mental note of that. That way, when you go into the information, you're gonna pull all of the information you have. It's not just about the numbers, it's about what the numbers mean. So once you have what the number means, then you'll slowly be able to start realizing, oh, that's how these numbers are connected. Because again, it's not about the numbers, it's about their connection, what they mean. Before you continue, think about your current situation. Are you trying to pass as soon as possible? Are you trying to pass now and get promoted later? Or are you trying to take your sweet time to get the highest score and best job that you possibly can get? Well, the great thing is we have plans to cover each of those types of scenarios. That way you're not breaking the bank, you spend as little as possible and get your military career started. Check out our full program, here are the details, and let's ace the ASVAB, my party people. Back to it. So here, watch this. Going through the questions, right here. A car traveling at an average speed of 50 miles per hour eventually travels 100 miles. So let's write this information down so I can prove to you how you know what type of problem this is, what formula to use, and how to plug it in the right way. Right here. I see that it says, again, traveling at an average speed of 50 miles per hour and then it says travels eventually 100 miles. So let's break that down. What does the 50 mean? What does the 100 mean? Well, any time, any, any, any time, you see average speed or the word per, that's very indicative, very indicative of a rate. Again, the two clues that I'm giving you. Average speed is a clue and the word per, because the word per connects two units, miles per hour. Two units being connected, a rate is a connected unit. So there we have it. Boom. We know that we have 50 miles per hour. And again, the word per gives away that it's a rate. And then we see that it travels 100 miles. Again, if it's just miles, just miles, that's a distance. That's like going from here to there. That's just distance. And I hope you see now, I hope you see that what we have is a distance rate time problem. Notice. We're looking for time, we have the rate, we have the distance. And so now we just need to make sure we are plugging the numbers into the right place in the formula. And you'll be able to do this confidently to the point where you can again, talk about it. I know this problem is super straightforward for some of us, I know that, but you gotta be able to talk about it. So here, we have the distance equals rate times time formula, right there. And what we're gonna do is we understand that my distance is 100 miles. So I'll plug that right in. And then we have my rate being 50 miles per hour, and I'll plug that in right there. So we'll have again, 100 miles equals 50 times time. Great. And so what you notice here is that, okay, we have an equation, but how do we solve this? The way that you're gonna solve this is by understanding that with an equation, you're doing the opposite operation. And whatever you do to one side, do to the other. But it's all about doing the opposite operation. So watch this. Here we go. I see that we're doing 50 times T. So to get rid of the 50, I'll divide the 50 out. The opposite of multiplying by 50 is dividing by 50. And remember, we gotta do it to both sides. So boom, we can cancel that out on the right side and 100 divided by 50 is two. 
two hours specifically. And we'll write that out right there. T equals two hours. And so again, we need to be able to talk about this. So can you again, tell me exactly why this was a distance rate time problem? How do you know it was a distance rate time problem? That way, when you see a different version of this problem with different numbers or different scenario, you can still point out exactly what's going on and why you know it's that type of problem. So again, the answer here is A, two hours. And so with that simple math part of people, hopefully you're liking these YouTube videos. If you are, go ahead and drop a comment here. Let me know how things are going for you so far with the ASVAB, if I've been helping you out. Let me know. I want to be sure that I'm helping people out so I can keep making videos just for you. And in case you didn't know, already seeing on the screen there, we have our full program that's being offered for free for a full week. And the reason why is because we know that we're the number one program in the nation. So if you want to go ahead and see what all the hype is about in terms of all the live classes, all the recordings, 15,000 practice problems, video solutions, progress reports, being able to text me whenever you need help. Yeah, all of that is in the program. You can get a full week. That's 168 hours for free right there. No credit card required. So feel free to scan that QR code above me or go ahead and text trial to 833-321-0182 or simply put, go to that link, asvab.info slash trial. All of it works the same. Get on in there, sign up for the trial, and I'll show you exactly how to ace the ASVAB. So with that simple part of people, Coach Anderson here, Coach Anderson out, and I'll see you in the next video. Sign up now.